Everybody, it's Tyler here at the World Champions. Now check in with your champions, 1323 Mad Town Robox. The Alliance captains here with Aureli and Emmanuel. And we got some great questions and breakdown here. I mean, I got to ask you, two championships in three years here. What was the initial feeling when he won that third match? Um, it's pretty crazy. It didn't, it didn't feel real, but then as soon as I saw like the score and I saw like the, 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 the fish come out, like we all just started jumping in the air and then, like we just saw everybody like just try to rush down. It was like so surreal at the, at the end of the day. It was an incredible celebration, an incredible set of matches. Walk me through, uh, you know, divisions coming in onto Einstein on there. Talk to me about your alliance partners. Talk to me about just kind of the composition of your alliance. Yeah, so uh, first of all, we I was like very astonished that we had Jack in the Bar in our like uh, division, Newton, uh, which is honestly crazy to me. So um, we did what we did was like um, work really hard to actually like seek first place and then like actually pick uh, Jack in the Bar. And we had a meeting with Jack in the Bar to see who would be our third pick. And like we um, checked our scouting data, we saw who has like who had like the better auto, who had like you know better this, better that, like better pickups, like who moved better and like who scored better overall. So um, it, it all came down to strategy, like overall, like it all came down to strategizing who to pick, um, you know, how to play, like what strategy we were going to play, like what strategy the third, pick, the third pick was going to play. So overall, it just came down to all the strategy. Speaking about strategy on here, you know, as your team started to go through the uh, rounds for it, obviously some tough matches. You lost uh, a couple of matches to uh, the finalist alliance as well, too. Did anything change as you were getting ready and you got into finals to play against them? Um, no, we just, most of our strategy stayed, remained the same. We just wanted, we just made like a couple like mechanical changes, making sure that we were as robust as possible throughout the entire thing, right? And like during the behind the bumpers um, interview that I had with you yesterday, I told you that we were gonna, like the L1 was the most important thing, and it's in the show true, true today. Like that's what we stuck with. We knew that's something that we could do like very comfortably. The kids had already started training on that because they knew, um, or we all knew that everybody doesn't be able to score L2 to L4, like at said and that we just need to put up those points one way or another. Last thing I want to ask you is coming into finals three for that. I mean obviously a couple of very close back and forth matches that you had for that. Uh, were there any changes to the game plan whatsoever coming into finals or any major surprises? Um, well one big surprise was uh, probably like when Jack in the Butts uh, was stealing balls. Uh, we had them steal one ball. Um, other than that there wasn't many changes. Um, it was very very like there was very like it was very surreal in a way. There was a lot of like emotions, you know, but we all we try to like keep them down and you know keep our heads up and you know just see like the better of the actual games. Just be like, oh yeah, we did this wrong. How about we do this better next time? Well, you did it fantastically. This is one of the best finals I have ever seen uh, in first. So congratulations, Matt Towerbox, once again, live it up. These are your world champions.